Hi. Hi. My question was originally for Kevin, but maybe you can answer. How was your um, Work right down the street from where movies was, and we were all kind of wondering, why didn't you just buy it and keep it a movie? We'd love to eat there. And then my second question is, your boom operator came into our store and invested myself and my boyfriend into the Marvel Club, and uh, I have my Marvel. Do you have yours? Oh, damn it. I owe you a dollar. First question, can you answer? Um, I, I think, um, hot cheese beverages would probably kill people on the spot. <laughs> and as bad as most fast food is, the things on our menu was pretty disgusting. Um, I have to say though, if there was a place like that that existed, I would be there all the time. Especially if the employees thought like that all the time. But you know, I mean, come on, it's minimum wage. I don't have to be nice to you. <laughs> You're very welcome. Uh, first, I'd just like to say that I love all your work. I watch it all the time. Uh, second, my, I have two questions. One is, uh, through all of your experience, what is the most luck that you've struck, like, through the acting business? And my second question is, a bit more selfish, what would you suggest for struggling actors such as myself to get into the book? Um, I think, well, the first luck ever was getting picked to be in the industry. It was very hard to get into it, so I was very lucky. I would say um, Larry Clark and Harmony Crane were the best casting directors I've ever met. Um, <laughs> um, though I do have to say, you know, my luck really hits on and, and just being able to meet and network with really great people, and I get to do things like call Marilyn Manson's manager and go, I want tickets to the show tonight, and get them, which is really freaking awesome. And I just take my brother backstage, and then I'm the coolest sister in the world, and that's awesome. Um, but to the thing that I would say is mostly for people who are out there, and, and there was a question that actually was asked um, when we were up here for the Grindhouse panel, um, was what, is, what happens when you hit that wall? You know, when you're struggling and you're trying so hard, and then you just hit that moment, it's like, what do you do? What do you say to yourself to keep pushing forward? Um, and I would just say, remember why you're doing it. Keep that in mind. Not a lot of people do. There's a lot of success people have for the wrong reasons, but if you do get up there and you're happy, then that's the best thing. There's, I got one of those quote things in one of those little, like, uh, I don't know, it was, on a, it was on a top of a drink or something like that, and it said, you know, success without honor um, satiates your hunger, but it doesn't taste good. And I think that's a very true thing, and I, and I realized that you all are all here because yeah, someone yeah. like Kevin Smith right. has always maintained his integrity over all these years. He's made great films. He's never diluted his voice and what put him on the map in the first place, like Clerks. That great dialogue between friends is completely unfiltered. And that's an amazing, amazing thing, and he's kept doing that. And I, I, can, I can assure you, if you haven't seen Clerks 2, you will not be disappointed. You will actually be quite surprised and probably a little moved, a little serious, a little excited. It's really, really good. And, I, and that's what makes people want to work with you forever, and that's what fills up a room like this. And that's a good thing. So remember that. That, that's my by far best fun experience. Uh, but my question is, uh, such as Shannon Doherty, Linda Tarantino, Joey Lauren Adams have all been in Kevin Smith films. Did you feel intimidated at all knowing that you would become a name in a Kevin Smith film? No. What do you mean? Well, I mean, Shannon Doherty was in Rats, you know, Dogma, Chasing Amy. Were you intimidated? I mean, like, because some of those actresses, <coughs> Shannon Doherty, uh, haven't really gone anywhere. <laughs> wow! <laughs> I'm not really sure how to answer that. I'm not, um, I, hmm. Because it sounds, partly it sounds insulting to the actresses, but it almost sounds a little insulting to Kevin. So, I have to say, um, I, no, I wasn't, I wasn't worried or anxious. Or, I was very excited about the opportunity to work with Kevin. And I, I think this is a really amazing script, and he's worked with some really incredible people and put some brilliant things on cellulite and, and digital, and I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. I think, uh, I hope to work with him again. And, and I think that he's actually, it's really added to my resume, I think, personally speaking, regardless of what anyone else does. I keep, I keep my double reject. Credit on my resume, even if I got rejected. You know, because I just love having Rob Zombie's name up there, and that, that means a lot to me, and that's why I did it. So, you know, when Kevin gets up here, you know, I'll kick him in the butt, but I'll say thank you so much for the opportunity. To, you know, he says 
He says he's grateful that I said yes, but I say I'm so grateful that he even sent me a trip in the first place. So. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Uh, first of all, I want to say hello. And uh, second of all, uh, for everyone here and anyone who watches Kevin Smith's movie, I'm from San Diego, and there's no such thing as a donkey show in TJ. I have looked, and there's no donkey show in TJ. So, it's, hey, chill out. So, I just want to say that, uh, I love you, Dad. <laughs> Uh, I got a question for you. Did you ever get Ashton and Backtrack to bring you along to get punked? Did y'all see punked? Did y'all see me get punked? I haven't actually seen the episode, but I don't know. At some point, I think it's like in his contract that he's not allowed to get punked or something like that. But at some point, I'll try. Just punched him. What happened? I got a bogus driver who, actually, at one point, I think it's not in the actual um, episode, but he passed me the script, which was just silly and just being like, hey, I have a script I want you to read. And he didn't know what it was. It was just a prop. It was just something to see what my reaction was going to be. And he passed it back to me and I flipped through it. And there was Nina and Tina. And I said, well, which role do you want me to read for? And he was like, uh, I was like, Nina or Tina? And he was like, Nina. And I looked down and Tina was saying something really sweet. And then Nina was about a close up on her song. And I was like, hmm, you're going to have to pass this through my management. <laughs> I'm just wondering how much Jason Mewes is actually like his character Jay. Um, so much so that there's a whole um, conversation in the beginning that says that um, they just came out of rehab that they had gotten picked up by an officer who had seen them driving around with a deployed airbag. <laughs> and that actually happened to him. <laughs> so be very careful, very, very careful what you say and do around Kevin because it will most likely be immortalized. <laughs> Alright, uh, kind of almost stole my question, but uh, before I start I want to say, love Kevin Smith shit, he uh, saved my life in Iraq, I just, every time I went to Iraq I took every single Kevin Smith movie with me on DVD. <laughs> uh, one more to ask you questions. All right, uh, I wanted to know if you had any good uh, news stories from the set. Jason Jason news stories? Jason Mewes. Yeah. Any good Jason Mewes stories from the set? Nothing, nothing too crazy. It was really great. I mean, I wish, I, I missed certain things they were shooting, like when Buffalo Bill was happening, I was really sad that I wasn't there for. Really sad. It was really, really great. Um, and he was just, he's really wonderful. He's a really, really great guy. He was funny. And I, I'm, I'm probably the worst person to ask because anything crazy he did probably just seems like it fit into my day perfectly. So I, I would be like, look, there was nothing extraordinary about that time he jumped off the roof. So I guess maybe to other people. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was, it was really fun. Okay. You're welcome. Um, there's another thing, actually, I want to say. Uh, Kevin um, recorded a commentary for the film. And I believe it's on his website you can download. Um, so you can watch it actually if you want to go and see the film the second time. I've seen it seven times, so I'm telling you, I think it's worth seeing many times. But if you wanted to hear a little commentary and get some more feedback about what it was the day in day out and what choices he made, you can actually watch it now rather than listen to the DVD. Huh?